Hi, and welcome to Makeup Mug Wump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. So, I have to get ready for work, but I also thought that we would do um, a little bit of favorites of 2021. Now, my favorites are different than other people's favorites. My favorites, if you, and I'll try to remember, I'll try to link favorites of 2020 so that you can see last year's too, because mine, um, my favorites are not specific products exactly. Um, like some people here on YouTube go through and do like a full face and this is my favorite primer and this is my favorite foundation. Like they go through the whole face and it's very product specific. Mine is not. Mine's a little bit different. Mine mine has um, been more of concepts or things that I learned to do or I enjoy doing in the year. Um, some products, if they're outstanding, but mostly not. So you'll see what I mean. And I thought I'd do this while I was getting ready because I have to get ready. <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's get ready <laughs> while I do these things. Um, I'll try to remember to tell you all things I used. That was the Tony Moly Pocket Bunny. Y'all, this thing never ends. I mean, I, we must be like down to here now. I just can't get rid of this. But I'm happy to use her. She's fabulous. And then this is a sample of the, hello, Tula Prime of Your Life Smoothing Firming Treatment Primer. Um, this is lovely. It smells lovely. It is fragranced. If you don't like fragrance, you will not like that. Uh, but that's a thing. And um, I put on nails like three days ago, I think. And I saved the box so that I could show you what they were in case you cared. This is the, the Kiss Impress color. Um, and it's in the shade all black. They're just black, shiny, glossy, whatevers. Um, and they're press-on nails. And I have learned to love these bad boys. Um, I got a couple more boxes coming because I started, I've worn them before, but uh, there there were some new colors that I wanted to try. So anyway, um, we'll be putting on makeup for today's face. This dress is not from England, if you follow me. Uh, this dress is from Carrie's Plus Size Closet. I'll try to link her down below too. Very reasonably priced uh, plus size clothing up to 5X. And um, everything is incredibly comfortable and again reasonably priced so you can she has no idea who I am I just buy her clothes um, so I will uh, it's a dress with pockets it's lovely um, so anyway. <laughs> just in case you care <laughs> here you go um, I've put on primer haven't I yeah um, let's let's talk some favorites here and then we, we will probably digress at some point because it's not a whole lot of of like different things it's not it's not revolutionary, but in 2021, um, I did quite a, quite a number of videos on, uh, things that I really liked and mentioned a lot of things that I like as far as products go, but probably the thing that stood out the most to me this year that, um, actually ties into one type of video that I do enjoy doing, and that is my empties video. And the thing that I like probably the most, my favorite thing is using something up. And I have a couple of things that I have discovered or, or really gotten into this year to help me use a product up. And one of them is, and I've beat this horse to slam death. This one's got product in it. This is the AOA Studio uh, from Shop Miss A. It's a little container, a little screw top container. They have uh, a variety of skincare items and products and stuff. They have spray bottles and things like that. But this type of container, and I'll show you one other that we've talked about recently, this type of container. This is a sample of a Clean It Zero cleansing balm. I saved the container, put my moisturizer in it to travel with over the holidays, and put way too much in, so I'm still using it. 
out of the little container because I didn't need that much. But those types of containers to hold product that is left in uh, a package or when I have used a product and and I'm scraping it out. We'll talk about scraping in a second. Um, and for some reason, the product needs to be removed from the container. I can put it in uh, one of these reusable little jars. I wash it out and use it again and again. This beauty spatula, I believe I got it from Walmart years ago. And it's a silicone, you know, and it's slightly flexible, uh, but not too flexible. This long handle gets in everything, gets out every little bit of every product that I want if I'm removing it. So for example, this Lancome sunscreen is, I'm almost obviously done with it. I've used as much as I can squeezing the actual little container. There's, I don't know, four days left of product that I just can't squeeze out of the tube. And so I cut it and use the beauty spatula and if, if, it, if it works like this where I can just use the container um, that it's in, I don't decant into one of these. I just use this every day and spatula some out and put the little pot back on and use her all the way up. And using up a product gives me great joy, especially if I like it. This is another item that I discovered this year that came out this year from Shop Miss A. Now this is, you stick a tube in and you roll it, right? Like a lot of people have these for probably toothpaste. Use them for your beauty products. Use them for getting the very last, this one's already been done, but like getting the very last of your product down to the bottom. And you know, if you, if you either don't wanna cut it open or can't cut it open, this gets even more product down to a, a usable space. I will cut this one open, but uh, I have it on my toothpaste when I, but it's also perfect for beauty products in those types of squeeze tubes that don't quite work. You can use it with foundation. You can use it with any skincare product, like using everything down to the last drop, making it work. And I think that that's probably one of the defining tenets of my channel, making it work. Because if I've got a product that I don't like by itself, this is the Koki Full Coverage uh, Foundation. I don't like this by itself. It's not, it's, it's not good on my face by itself. But if I mix it with other things, then I get use out of it. Um, it lightens. This one's a really light shade. It's 10C. It's quite light. Um, so I can lighten something that's a little bit too dark, but I can use the product. I don't waste it and I, I get satisfaction from it. So using my stuff, use all your stuff. That's not to say that if I had somebody that I loved who wanted that, that I would hand it to them and let, let them go on their merry way. But if, if I don't, if I, if I just, if it's between that and the trash can, I want to use it up. I want to use it up. Okay. I'm trying to decide what foundation I want. And I think we are, we're, we're going to do this together. This is the very last day of the Good Apple Foundation from KVD Vegan Beauty in shade Light 010. This is the very last day of it. So we'll do it together. Um, this shade is too dark for me, but you'll, we'll make it work too. <laughs> With the powders and all that we use. Um, I've got to film a video for my work actually today which is not something I typically do, but marketing, um, for some reason, seems to think I can film videos. <laughs> so they've asked me to film a video portion for um, my company, so I'll be doing that today. So this is a good foundation to, to wear on camera. It is um, very full coverage, and I'm gonna use every last bit of it up and then recycle this container. This container is designed to be recycled, which is wonderful. Um, I recycle as much as I can over here in uh, Mugwump land. So using it up, making it work. And I am, ta-da, empty. This actually wouldn't be a bad reusable 
item either to decant something into. It closes tightly. Like it, it actually closes quite tightly. So that's not actually, I may not recycle it quite yet. I may wash it and leave it out and about. And let's see if, uh, if I can reuse that as well. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I will recycle it. But it, if you can reuse a product, that is a type of uh, recycling that works quite well. If you can get some use out of a product instead of purchasing a product. And that's that, I think that's the other thing is that I, I purchased a few of these. They were a dollar. And, um, and then began in my collection to notice things like this. <laughs> and I was like, wait. I don't have to buy these containers. I mean, I'm glad I did because they started me figuring out, you know, how to use the rest of some product. But that I I have some of these already in my collection of things that I used up that cleansing bomb. It's a good one, by the way. And uh, I've never purchased a full size, but I keep getting these samples. And so now I keep having these little containers around to do stuff with. Um, you may ask why I decanted, this is a primer from Revlon, the pump stopped working on the packaging. And so it was like, well, I can't, I can't use it, but I could. I had Mr. Melbourne break the lid off because it was non-functioning, but it wasn't like a screw top lid. So I was like, well, I'd have to throw it away, but he broke the lid off and then I decanted it into um, the little container. So yeah, works great. This foundation is stunning. This was a huge, like, deal when it came out because of some TikToks. And folks were seeing them, and it was like, it did this beautiful thing. And then a lot of people tried this foundation and said, oh, I hate it. I don't like it. I think <laughs> there are several reasons why that is. Um, a foundation is not going to work the same for everyone. Everyone's skin texture, skin tone, not skin tone, um, skin type is different. And so there is no foundation that works for everyone. I don't, I don't believe that. There's no one size fits all. However, um, for a normal skin type, which is what I have, I get slightly oily in my T-zone, slightly. Um, I, I think, it, I think a foundation balm works great. Um, this is the third or fourth foundation balm that I've tried. Uh, my very favorite is the Kevin Aquan foundation balm. I love it so much. I haven't used it in a while. I need to pull it back out. Um, I was I struggled to find my shade in this. For those of you who've been watching for a while, we struggled for a hot minute to find my shade in that because it was deceptively darker. Um, and and so anyway, there's a lot of shades in it, and I think likely now that many people have used it in film videos or, you know, taken photos with their with the foundation shade on, you might have a lot better luck than I did when it first came out. My shade is 006, and I have a full 006 ready to go as soon as that is finished, and that is finished. Everybody, yay, love it. But um, I also didn't, um, I, I didn't wait <laughs> to find my shade. I actually went... Uh, and 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 purchased very soon after it came out because I knew I was gonna love it. The other thing I think that people don't um, maybe know is how to apply it. Um, this is a product I think that requires both a brush um, and a sponge. I always go over my foundation balm with a sponge, no matter how I apply it to my face. And so I think that was that to me is key for how on me. To get it to look great and it will stay all day just like this it is gorgeous it's very high coverage which i like um which is good for today because i've got to film this video and just work it work a full day that was the nyx little wonder stick last year's favorites involved quite a bit of cream blush cream contour cream bronzer and I still will do that occasionally not as much as I think I was doing last year but I still will do that I, I, I enjoy a cream product to add a little bit of dimension to my face um and there there's a new one that I want to try for cream blush and that is this is a pink pearl um sorry let me try this again this is a what is it called it's is this not on the back Mm, this is like a creamy thing from Jekka Black. I don't remember what the name of the thing is. 
and I don't know what kind of brush to use. Mm. Help me. What kind of brush do you want me to use? Maybe. Okay, we'll try this, and then we'll see how it goes. I think the shade is Pink Pearl. Is this working? Yeah, there she is. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now we got to blend. <laughs> that is a new product from my friend Kim, who sent that over, and that's gorgeous. Let us blend. Did I even use concealer under my eyes? I don't think I did. Okay, beauty. If I want my makeup to last like, super long, I don't usually have a problem with makeup lasting very long, um, but layering. So I put the cream on and then I put powder, you know, bronzer, highlight, blush on top. And then I'm, it's, I'm locked and loaded, baby. I think for me, this past year has been a year of reflection on my collection because I made myself, <laughs> um, with, with you, you had to come along with me. I made myself use my um, my eyeshadow palettes. I used a different eyeshadow palette every single day of the year. And because I did that, I decluttered some of my eyeshadow palettes. Now I've, I've had some, I've gone through some times in my life with this makeup where I have decluttered for a purpose. And uh, I've never, I've never filmed it. But I think this is going to be the year of me actually um, specifically doing it, sitting down and doing the declutter and filming it so that I can kind of reason through why I'm getting rid of what I'm doing um, and letting y'all come along for the ride. I do enjoy watching declutters. So that's why I think it might be something that maybe you enjoy watching declutters too. But it, it gives me many reviews of products or reminds me of products that I have in my collection um, that I want to use. So I'm, I'm down for that. Let's do that. So that, that's going to be a thing I think coming up, but using my eyeshadow palettes, um, this year reminded me that I've got quite a bit. So I canceled my subscription boxes this year too. That's something I didn't think I'd ever do because I found so many great things in subscription boxes and subscription boxes were a favorite of mine in 2020. Um, it was one of the things that I mentioned. And I think it's not that I don't love them anymore. It's that I, I hit a place that it became a little bit overwhelming to receive that number of product every month to try and to use many of the boxes were containing a lot of skincare and even hair care. And I don't go through that many products. I don't have like a 55 step skincare routine that I can get through four serums in a month. <laughs> There's just not, there ain't that much face. I mean, it's a lot of face, but it ain't that much face. And so I think that that's canceling the subscription boxes. I can always sign them back up for them whenever I'm ready. It's not permanent canceling those subscription boxes and, and not feeling like, um, you know, there's no FOMO. There's no fear that I'm going to miss something that I really want. If I really want something, I just go buy it. Um, and it, it was a place that I found new brands, tried new things. And, but the problem was, is I couldn't get through them all. So I've still got, I've still got a lot of the product. I um, will try them all and then we'll see if I don't like something I either uh, send it on to friends and family who want to try it um, and they enjoy trying it too it, it works out really well all right brow gel I'm not using anything revolutionary everything else that I've used on my face has been from my everyday go-to makeup stash stuff a video on that. I did a full face of that. 
Um, it's just products that sit here that I can grab if I have nothing specific that I want to use that is new, then I do that. And that's it's that's probably another good video to, to take a look at to see what kind of things I'm into because it's things that I'm, I'm using up, <clears throat> things that I want to use up. Am I going to cough? We're not going to talk about this powdery. One day we'll get through that Powerade. It's going to my empties too. It's like the ever, ever growing Powerade. It never ends. Okay, um, let's do this bad boy. This is such a cute, if I can get it open. This is such a cute product. And actually, it was so fun. Mr. Mugbump found this one for me at Ulta. We were looking for a blush bronzer highlight in one thing. Those, those are actually quite hard to find. Um, and so I really was happy that he found this one. But this is the, um, it's an Ulta product and it's in California Sunlight. It's a, I don't know if it's a dupe, but it, it looks very similar to the It Cosmetics one. And I, we saw that one, but it was like, I don't know, 40 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that. And I was like, I don't want to pay that much for what this is. Um, so he actually went to the Ulta wall, you know, and uh, found this one. <laughs> And I'm glad he did. But I saw Emily Noel use this one in a video afterwards. And I was like, yay, we like that product. Um, it's it's so nice. It's just a nice everyday product. It's really nice. I like uh, that I can kind of multitask in one thing. You know what I mean? Like I can just grab the one thing, especially if I'm in a hurry or if I just don't want to be bothered to like choose a blush or something like that, that I can just chuck it on and then I'm good to go. I like that a lot. But it is a little bit uh, powdery, I guess is how you say it. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan. I don't mind that at all. I don't know if anybody's bothered by that. I'm not, but whatever. That's a good one. It is a good one. Okay. Let's blint. Blint. There we go. I think the other thing about 2021 is that I really stopped looking at what other, I'm going to call them influencers, but like what other people were doing and really just do what I want to do. Do me and do you. Like just... The make it work thing is me. Some people are like, I don't want to make it work. Don't then. You good, baby. You good. But just doing what I want to do. Not worrying about what anybody else does. Because it don't matter. We're using this. Mr. Mug won't give this to me for Christmas. And I haven't used it yet. So let's use it. This is the Tartlet Full Bloom Palette. I don't have the Tartlet Palettes. Like, I just, I don't have any of them. I have some tart palettes from, especially a while back. I used to use one but that I traveled with. Um, and I don't know where she is. I'll have to find her one day and show her to you. I used to travel with her all the time. And she, it's a gorgeous palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's like a neutral eyes volume three. It has like a zipper on the front. I'll show it to you one day. But, um, it, it this is got all the colors you could possibly want. I love Tarte's formula. You smell like vanilla frosting which ain't bad in my book this is a palette that I could probably use the rest of my life and just be happy with this one palette probably because I'm a very fair person and these shades are in the range of shades that will show up on me and I'm happy with I'm very happy with that so the flowers on my dress are a little bit coral um and typically I would go for a cool tone eye look because I love cool tone. But I think I'm going to go a little bit more pinky today than I would normally do. But I think it'll look nice with what I'm wearing. So we're just going to go a little pinky moment on my eyes today. And uh, yeah. The doggies are getting groomed today. So um, when they come back, they'll be little shorn rats. 
I'll try to show you tiny. She looks so funny. Because she's right now, she well, when she left this morning, she's like this giant teddy bear of a dog, you know. Lots of fur floofing everywhere and Gandalf eyebrows, you know. And now she'll be like a little, little tiny, little tiny dog. Because you see all the real fur because they cut it all off. It's so cute. Okay. Favorites of 2021, right? think the, the the great declutter is going to be the thing is that going through eyeshadow palettes was helpful and now I'm ready to do it with foundations with lips with bronzers blushes highlights I think I'm ready which I never really was before you know I was just like well I'll I, I'll I'll enjoy everything but I think I'm gonna I think I'm ready which is cool I mean it's cool to be ready to make a change or ready to do a thing that you didn't think you'd be ready to do. I like that. Do whatever you want. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do what we want. I do what I want. Those are my favorites. Use, use your products. Make it work. Declutter if you want. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Happy 2022. I don't do resolutions. Um, I'm not like one of those people. If you are, great, cool. Um, do you have any makeup re resolutions? If you do, let tell me what they are if you feel like sharing. Um, because I'm interested to know. I think it's just, I'm making a couple of goals for myself. One is to get through my collection and declutter what I do not like, what does not work, and what I'm not going to use. I think that's what it is. Um, if it if I can't make it work or if I don't want to make it work or if it can't work, that's what needs to go. Like, if I just don't like it. If I have a foundation that breaks me out, I don't want to use it. I don't, I don't want it. So I need to get rid of it. And I don't know that I have sat down and thought through in that way. Some folks are like, goodness, why wouldn't you throw it away immediately? Because I may not have tracked it down to that foundation. Like, I may not have done it intentionally in that way so you see what i mean we will we'll, we'll do it together trust it's gonna be fine so decluttering is gonna happen in 2022 and i'm very excited for it okay this is a very work ish i look with color <laughs> all right i've got a couple of different shimmers I think we're going to use her kind of in the middle of my lid. Yeah, she's beautiful. Gosh, that's pretty. Tarte does such be. I mean, some folks, um, especially folks of deeper skin tones, will, will, they, they just, it's, this is not a lot. You got Tarte and you got Juvie's Place. <laughs> And I can use Juvie's Place all day long because they're super, super pigmented. That doesn't mean that I want to because they're super, super pigmented. And it can be too much for me. If I wanted to use a pink from Juvie's Place, it would be way too pink for me to wear to work um, in a way that would be professional. But Tarte, I can. They are light. They're, they're just lighter shades. So it's just a different type of brand. It's a different type of product. For what it is and they're kind of two different ends of the spectrum of pigmentation and I don't mind that I think you I think folks who like tart like them for what they are it, it's this it's not you know I don't have to tone it down or be careful if I had pulled a Juvia's I'd have to be careful about exact placement and how far I went up and all. if I didn't want you know super bright super um, colorful I look for today, then I'd have to be careful. With Tarte, I don't have to be careful. And I, I love that. There's a place in my life for an eyeshadow palette just like this. So that is gorgeous and exactly what I wanted today. Let me show you what I used. So I was on this end of the spectrum. So this is in my crease. This is on the outer corner. Is that kind of darker shade? Um, and then these are the two shimmers that I use right here. And so it's, I want to use this whole half. And because I don't have to use a different eyeshadow palette every day, I can. I can use this. So I will, that will be here and I'll use this again because I want to. Um, 
it's worth multiple looks. Gosh, that's pretty. I am going to do an eyeliner today because I want some definition before I do mascara. And I think I'm just going to do, I think we'll just do uh, the Maybelline Master Precise All Day, just a thin line across the lash. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, I'm liking it a lot. Let's spray our face. That's the Believe Beauty matte one, but it's not, it doesn't like super mattify because I have quite a bit of glow going on, which I'm happy with. Y'all, what are we going to do with my hair? I don't know. But I figured so. <laughs> Quick. All right. Let's choose mascara. So many good ones. Um, I think I'm going to use the heroin make ultra waterproof what is she called the long and curl mascara this is a korean mascara i believe i got it from amazon and it's beautiful you can build it up it is waterproof so you'll have to use like an eye makeup remover to take it off at night but it comes off pretty easily with the eye makeup remover, like one of those kind that you shake uh, to combine the two parts. That's the kind that I use. I can use any brand of that. I love the, the Lancome is good. The Clinique is great, but those I'd have to get on sale, which I think they are on sale. I think, I think Kim messaged me and said that, I, that maybe January 14th they'll be on sale at Ulta, which is great because I'm not going to buy those full price, but if they come in like a gift with purchase or you know what I mean? Like one of those free little packets or whatever that you get. I will use the mess out of that Lancome one. It's so nice. So is the Clinique one. I love those. They take off waterproof mascara for me. And there's zero irritation. I have eyes that can get easily irritated. And those are great. I've also used the Neutrogena. Um, and then some store brands are great too. I mean, I, I have not had that type of like a bifacil or whatever, irritate my eyes. It does. It just doesn't, which is wonderful. So this is a wand that is slightly curved. And it works great. I do several passes. And I haven't re-dipped my wand. You've noticed there's plenty of product on the wand. I don't want super spidery lashes today, but I do want lashes that I can see. See? It's just, it's a decent, such a decent mascara. There are many. This is one. Okay. I'm calling that one done. Beautiful. Lips. I need to declutter my lips like nobody's business. Declutter my lips. Declutter my lippies. <laughs> because I have far too many. I have far too many. And I probably have 50 of the same shade in just different brands. And I can't, I won't be able to use them all. Um, so, um, that's coming too. I think what I'm going to do is use lip products and foundations and declutter them as I use them. Because I don't, I don't necessarily 
know if I want to do a full declutter, like sit down and declutter them all on one day. I will do bronzers and highlighters and all that jazz in that way. But let's use one I know I really like. This is the Aladdin um, MAC collection from a while back. This is a shade called Friend Like Me. And she's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. A pinky. A beige that leans slightly pinky nude. Put it that way. Macs don't last forever. So I need to, I have a hair right there. Forgive me. Oh, Macs don't last forever. So it's going to go bad. And if I don't use it because I'm using something else or whatever, then I, I don't use the products that I love, love, love. I need to use those products. Right? So let's, let's figure that out. You and me together this year. We're going to, we're going to clean this stuff up. We're going to get our stuff that we love. Let stuff go that we don't love. It's going to be a good day gonna be a good year right yeah let's do this thanks so much for hanging out while I did my makeup this morning I appreciate it um I do have a haul that I've got to film for a couple of orders that I placed um so that will happen uh in the next day or so that'll come up and then yeah let's hang out some more let me know um if you have any makeup resolutions <laughs> Just curious if you, if people make them, I'd like to hear them. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. Y'all have a fantastic rest of your day.